Hey, welcome back to the Wholesome Feed. What do we want to talk about today, Abraham? I think we want to talk about mindfulness and gentleness when we're parents. Oh yeah, which sounds like a, uh oh, just click next, it's so boring. Mom, that me? Oh, you're so amazing. But you know what I find is that mindfulness reduces stress. And I don't mean that in like, a, we're gonna sit, we're gonna meditate four hours a day and I'm gonna ring my chimes and my chakras are gonna be all aligned. That's awesome if that's what you wanna be. But for a lot of us, it just means being present in the moment. And that means when there's a chaos and a nap refuser, uh-huh, I'm a pointing fingers. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> that we are in that moment and we just experience that. And that's okay, that is okay to be having rough times. And it also means that when we're having fun and we're climbing, you be careful now, sweet pea, okay? You be careful. Why? Because there's Wawa down there. I don't want you to fall. And when we are tickling and laughing and breastfeeding and, you know, today we were making the ingredients for apple pie together and it was just this beautiful moment to be present for, to be a part of, that it just filled my heart with joy. I wasn't, you know, I, I shut out the voice. It was like all this other stuff to do, always the to-do list, always what are you doing here and we're making a mess. I just said, no, shut that down and be present. Be mindfully in the moment. And it makes me be more gentle to myself as a mama and to be gentle and kinder and more loving to my little monkey. Um, so I think it's really powerful in a de-stressing mechanism, as a de-stressing mechanism. Because one of the top worries and concerns that I hear from moms and dads that message me or email me is that they're stressed, they're overwhelmed, you know, they wanna be this happy, wonderful, loving parent and then things keep overwhelming and piling on them and it becomes too much and it stresses them out and they aren't being the parent that they want to be. So then they feel guilt and then they feel anger about that. Absolutely, my love, let me finish talking to the hello hellos. Oh, you got to put your shoes back on. Look at that, the ties came off. So I think that when we resolve that, we get rid of this cycle of anxiety and guilt and stress and anger and we become happier and when we're happy, our children are happier, our families are happier, we're more productive, we do more fun things that lead to less stress and less tantrums. Do you think we should get going? Yeah, right now. Absolutely, give me one second. I don't want to. Go pick me that pretty flower over there. What? Which one? So, three of the best ways, any one of those, maybe pick me three, three of the best ways to be mindful as a way to reduce stress is to allow yourself the forgiveness to not worry about what should be done or how it should be done or what is being done. Well, oh, that's beautiful smelling. What about these? Those are very pungent. I remember those grew up where mama lived when she was little. Um, and to just appreciate what you're doing then and there. Hmm, if your kid is helping you clean and they're making more of a mess than they're cleaning, that's okay. Just experience that. Be joyful in that moment. And then it's okay to then have it take 10 minutes longer, right? It's okay for things to be a little more difficult with kids. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't have to raise up that anxiety level that makes you angry. And then number two, I think. Hey, be careful. Thank you, my love. Oh, he's hugging the tripod. You are the sweetest little sweet pea. I love you. Do you want to come sit on mama's lap? Absolutely, come here. You are my associate producer. You gotta sit on my lap. <laughs> Number two, whoa, we don't burp. That's gross, gross. <laughs> Is to design your days with more flexibility and ease that allow for you to do things that bring you joy and that bring your children joy together. So and that when you're guys. having a good time, you're more likely to be in the moment. And bopping guys. Oh yeah, for example, he greatly loves burping. One burp could last hours in his mind. Okay, oh, that's gross, gross. Don't do that, love. You can't sit on my lap if you're gonna burp on the camera. Okay, or you can sit on my lap and cuddle me if you're gonna be good. <laughs> so pick things in your day and design your week. Schedule it in a way, loosely with flexibility, that allows for more. I'm just gonna like cover his mouth or something. I don't know, I could put a stick in there like a dog can throw it maybe on the <laughs> That allows for more flexibility and joy. And that is going to help you be more mindful. And number three is put away your phone, put away your Instagram, put away your email, put away your work contacts, and put on a cartoon. Go play outside, build blocks inside, bake together, uh, you know, take a bubble bath together, go do something fun that everyone loves. But don't do it to display it, don't do it with the thought of, I need to email so-and-so back, or I need to call. Leave that be. You can bring your phone, you can take photos with it if you want, you can do whatever you want. 
but don't go into it with the thought of that I am doing this activity to document it, I am doing this activity even when I should be answering those phone calls and voice messages that somebody left, right? Leave that all behind. And so a lot of people are like social media detox. And that's not necessarily what it needs to be. It needs to be a in contact with other people, lack of mindfulness oh, detox. So get rid of that hey, and put in your, your mindset of, I'm going to be mindfully in this moment. I'm going to experience it. I'm going to tickle monkeys. I'm going to eat them. I'm going to serve them to all the ducks in the duck duck lake. <laughs> hey, mom. Yes, love. Um, let's go, go each of this one. Yeah, do you want any milkies? Mom. You can have a quick milk break if you want. Go out this one. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I'm, let me say bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye. <laughs> I'm holding on to my tripod for dear life because I'm in the moment. Don't you see this? <laughs> Guys, I'm in the moment. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of, when I see mindful things, I'm like, you don't have children, do you? But in my easy, gentle way of being mindful, I have found makes a huge difference in our joy, both of ours. Oh, don't scoot that around, mommy's talking. You talk to so until me. <laughs> so until next time, check out the links in the description. I have um, yeah. all of my romance books that I write. I have my gentle parenting oh, yeah. breastfeeding guide. And goodbye. I have my link to my blog and, and my Instagram. And, goodbye. Goodbye. and it always means a lot when I hear from and you on Instagram or if I get an email about goodbye. some of the books you've bought. I got a really lovely one Mom, yesterday that I them. greatly appreciated. No, he goodbye. Them. Okay, so we have to go. We have to go have fun in the moment. But I just wanted to stop, sit down by this beautiful lake and say, hey, it's all good. Mindfulness is not a end-all be-all and it's not a um, zero-sum game where it has to be this one thing. It can just be something that helps you be happier for your whole family and have memories that you will be grateful for. So until next time, I will see you all around on Instagram, on my other YouTube channel. And where's that? Oh yeah, on here. Oh no, yes, oh no.